Well, my favorite Megadeth story is um, the day we were started, I was really excited. And um, we were working with Casey McMacken. He was another engineer at Music Grinder that I hired to do piece sales with me. Uh, he did a bunch of albums with me. So um, we came in and we had the drum doctor in and we set up, had the drums set up and all the amps set up and got everything, got sounds and got ready to go. And I came in and sat down and the console and and Casey was sitting at the console and we're looking around and there was there were no band members there. So this went on for a few minutes and then finally I said, Casey, what's going on? Where is it? Where are these guys? You know, what happened to them? And he sat there for a long minute and then he, he turned around and he said, they're all in the bathroom shooting up. <laughs> and I was like, I had no idea. I mean, it was like really absolutely clueless. So um, they immediately, they shortly thereafter, they popped out and, uh, and started playing and they were just incredible. It was, it was a great session. They worked really hard. They played great. And it was really, uh, it was pretty exciting. So I didn't think about much after that, but it was my first introduction to that whole thing. So, um, it turned out at the time, uh, Chris Poland and Gar were both pretty strung out on heroin and the other guys were just playing around with it a little bit. They weren't serious dr uh, druggies yet. Dave's issues with drugs came later. It wasn't a big issue for the sessions that we did. A couple of times, Gar and Chris um, showed up late or showed up and didn't feel like playing for a while, and then eventually they'd go find some drugs and then they'd want to play. Other than that, it had no effect on anything. Mm -hmm.